Today we're going to be fixing our jumping function, our jumping animation, and all of that that is related to our jumping. If you see right now, let me close that inventory. If you see right now when we run and we jump, we just jump straight up. We don't keep our momentum. We can barely fix our position. So that's not a very good jump. So we're going to be changing a few things. We are going to also learn how to fall from platforms and change to the mid air animation. Actually, let me rename this to uh, mid air. Uh, mid air. I, it just makes more sense if it's called mid air. So in our player controller, we are going to find our jump function. So I just go ahead and press F12, go to our jump function, and you'll see that we have this here. So the first thing we want to do is preserve the momentum when we jump so if we're running and we jump we will continue just like in those mario games or super smash bros or any game that has jumping basically so we're going to come in out these two constraints here we don't want to have these constraints anymore so go ahead and comment them or remove them and you will see that immediately after we do that if we're running and we jump you will see that we can keep moving when we jump but actually that's not true. What we're just doing is keep moving on the air. So you will see if I jump and then I move, I can just, it doesn't feel right. We can just keep moving while we're jumping. So let's go ahead to our move function here. So if you see our move function, you will see that we have if can move. And if we can move, two things will happen. First, we will check if we are not jumping. And if we're not jumping, we're going to set the animation to running animation and then no matter what happens here we're going to move our character left or right depending on the velocity so what we want to do is we want to put this also under the is not jumping if statement we're going to open a pair of bracers there and we're going to take these two things we're going to say if is not jumping then we're going to set the animation and then we're going to set the movement. Only if we're not jumping, we're going to move. So now if we go back to our game, you will see that we can no longer move while we are jumping. So now it's straight up again. So, hey, Lucas, I thought you wanted some momentum. How are we going to get some momentum? The key for that is here in jump. You remember we removed these constraints? Well, now that we remove those constraints, we can actually set the velocity of our rigid body. So. Velocity is equals to transform.forward. So we want to keep moving forward. That's the direction we were running to. And we're going to multiply this times our velocity because we had a velocity when we jumped. Velocity. But there is a slight problem and is that our velocity can be negative. So what we're going to do is use a function from the math function library, math function, absolute value. And what this does is just turns any value into a positive so minus two will become two etc and we have to multiply this times a factor but i realized that for my case four works the best and excuse me guys i'm going to go ahead and delete these comments there because they're quite annoying so keep momentum when jumping we do it here so velocity times that and then we use the gravity we change our animation and we are jumping so if we go ahead and try it now, you will see that we run and we will set the velocity depending on our direction. So if I just jump upwards, our velocity is zero. So I won't get moved right or left. And if I run to the right and I jump, you will see that I keep moving. Even if I, I stop pressing any key, the character will keep moving in the direction that he was running when he jumped. But what happens if we want this to jump like I don't know, Mario or Super Smash Bros. In those games, you can adjust a little bit your jump when you're on mid-air. So let's say I jump here, but I can, maybe I want to aim for a platform or a target. I want to adjust my jump in mid-air. How can we do that? So, well, let's go back to our move function and we want to make an else statement here. So else, and this else is if we are indeed jumping, so if we were actually on the air, we want to we want to let our player move just like that. But instead of moving normally, we want to move much slower. I realized that for my case, dividing the movement speed by five 
makes it feel just right. Now you will see that I can run, I jump, and then I can adjust slightly my jump. So I can jump further away, or if I just keep pressing to the left, I won't go as much. You can tune your value. Let's say if it's two, it will be much easier to notice. So if I go and jump, then I can adjust my jump much easier. Uh, but for my case, I like five much better. Great, so now we can run and jump and keep our momentum and change our momentum slightly when we are on mid-air. How about we do some platforms? So just make a couple cubes on the scene near my character, zero. I'm going to make them bigger a little bit. So maybe three, this is going to be 0.3 and it's going to be one. And I'm going to place it up a little bit and I'm going to duplicate this. And if I go to my scene view, I'm going to move it to the right, move it up. So now let's try jumping on these platforms and it should be working with our current code. So I can jump up and you will see something weird actually. Uh, when we land here, I can't trigger the animations from walking. I can still jump, but I can't move properly. And that's because we have a landing routine here. We have a on land routine. And remember that we compare a tag and that tag is floor. So what we have to do is tag these two cubes as floor so that our player recognize them as something that he can walk on. So if I go and jump, I can trigger that on landed routine and we can actually land on it. So there you go. What happens if we just fall down from our platform instead of jumping from it? So right now when I jump, you see we have a on mid air animation. You can see it here when we jump you will see the mid-air animation is there, right? So mid-air animation. But when we just walk off this, the, this platform, that animation actually doesn't get cold. And we're not considered as jumping when we're in mid-air. So I can jump again from mid-air if I do that. So how can we fix this? Well, the first thing we wanna do, uh, we're going to tidy up a little bit here I realized that there is a slight problem with this transition. This should not be not equal to five, but this should be equals to six. So when we're in mid air, we want to transition to jump down when our condition is equals to six. We also want to remove this transition here. I don't remember exactly why I added this transition, but let's go ahead and remove it for now. And we're going to create a new transition from transition state into mid air. We're going to remove has exit time and we're going to add a condition. The condition is equals to seven. So if we are, we're going to leave the number seven for our direct transition to mid air. So we don't have to go through the jump up part of the animation, we can go directly into mid air because we're not jumping. Remember, we're not jumping down from the, from the platform. We're just walking off from it and we're just falling. So that's why we have to set this direct transition with the condition seven. Okay, so now we set our animator. Now we have to set the condition properly in our player controller. So let's go down here to our on trigger enter and I want to make some changes here, very small changes. Don't worry, guys. I don't want to check my tag here. I want to check my tag on my on trigger answer function. And then I don't need to check that here. And since we don't need to check that here, we can get rid of this parameter, which is the other parameter. And now we just indent this back inside and there we go. So that will call our on land routine. But now we want to have another function called on leap floor. Okay, so we need to know when our character landed and we need to know where our character actually left the floor. To call this function, we're going to use void on trigger exit collider other. Very similar to on trigger enter. And we also want to compare if the other, the collider we're 
exiting is a floor and if it is a floor we want to call on lip floor so what happens on lip floor well we want to set the animation so anim dot set condition no no set condition set integer condition seven so we set the animation to mid air animation what else we want to do here well we want to set our is jumping because remember this is jumping let us know that we are actually not grounded we are on the air so is jumping equals true and lastly we want to set rigidbody dot use gravity to true so if we are on air we want to make sure that we can fall down to our floor so we don't just stay floating on air forever we should be able to see the player going to the mid-air animation okay when we when we jump yes that's true but also when we let ourselves fall from the platform so if we just walk down the platform oh okay i type here <laughs> i type this wrong i type on tiger on tiger or whatever it should be on trigger exit i'm sorry about my silly mistake so that's why it was not working so now let's play this one more time and we should be able to see that our condition turns to seven when we leave the floor so even when we jump normally our condition also turns to seven and when we land on something where our glider is too big i think okay right now our character is a little bit fat so we need to fix the colliders a little bit reduce the radius of our capsule collider to 0 0.3 and remember that the food collider this box down here needs to always be smaller than the capsule so we're going to reduce the size to 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 that's the size of our box collider and in the center we just want to reset it to 0 0 0 if we go ahead you'll see that our mid-air animation should keep looping while we are falling so let's go here we jump up we jump up again and if we just walk down the ledge and we just fall you'll see mid-air repeat until we touch the floor let's see it one more time in slow motion so we run off the ledge and there you go so <laughs> that's how we can have a platformer style jump hopefully you can design your levels with different kinds of platforms maybe different paths for your player to choose maybe you can hide some special items up in a platform or something and yeah i think this is a much better jump than the one we used to have until this episode and i want to welcome a new patron sj omes uh, thank you thomas for your contribution on patreon it really means a lot Remember to tell me what kind of topics you would like to see and I will make sure to make a video about it for you. And to all of those of you who cannot afford to support me on Patreon, don't worry, all your comments and likes are very welcome as well. So guys, again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I will see you all on the next one. Adios.